Hi everybody, hi Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel and I'm using the Oracle of Vision deck and I'm going to go into this much deeper. So you are, that's the first card. And for those that don't know which deck it is, that is what it's by Hiro Machetti one of my favorite artists and the other deck is the fancy cat oracle deck by Paola Burberry and we have uh, I'm not using the season cards but we've got four attitude cards and you see how they <coughs> come out sorry well I might as well leave that there that's what the backs look like and I've made a uh, review about this deck And there's 15 cat cards and it's amazing this deck it's beautiful the artistry is fantastic okay so I'll take that one take that one one from the bottom and one from the center okay they're very glossy so I hope you will see them I know the sun is shining. And we are also from a uh, handsome wallet stick. And um, that's the tarot. Right. What holds for you? Don't worry too much about the sun because uh, I hold them up to the camera anyway. You've got 43 and you can see there is a lady who's looking into the mirror. I think I will put the sun blind down. Well, you can see She's looking into the looking glass, the mirror. She's got mirrors all over the place, on the wall, on the floor, next to her, even in the background, on the walls. She, she's just obsessed with herself. She just thinks she's wonderful and she's trying to think of a way to even get a looking better. Okay, this card is called Obsession, Delusion, Self-Interest. Nature never deceives. It is we who deceive ourselves. Jean-Jacques Rousseau, Emile, 1762, that he made the same. And it's quite true. A stream of light penetrates a darkened room, revealing a solitary figure like Miss Havisham from The Great Expectations. She sits in a world of her own isolation. Her reflections are her only companions. She preens herself yet again, reassuring herself with false truth. Truths. The mirrors do not lie, but her obsession does, Indul indulging her only with the images that she wants to see. Her excesses re represent an ever-increasing desire to create an ideal that is never achieved or is reality, is not even required. We should look in the mirror and see our true reflections as others would see us and strip away the psycholo psychological makeup of our ego and vanity. Yep, sometimes we can't be true to ourselves. We just see what we want to see. And that's when in the tarot, with the five of cups and the four of cups, you stare just in front of you. You're making yourself depressed. Look around you, you've got more than you realize. Be thankful for what you've got. 
you've got just remember you might have you will have more than most perhaps your health perhaps you might have a house and a car and a job there are people that don't have cars or a job okay now we're going to the attitude card for monday desiring transformation you want to be different yes you want to look yourself in the mirror and be proud and up you want people to recognize you transformation and you've got travel you've got travel and that is number 10 so you might be planning to travel you might also be traveling spiritually this doesn't have to be only physically look at the cat just sitting there making plans embrace the unknown chart a new course yes to improve yourself do change the course so you can better yourself look yourself in the mirror good 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 Chant a new course, travel and change opens the soul. New landscapes and situations give you an opportunity to divine yourself in a fresh new way. Plot a new course because you step foot before you step foot on your uh, your journey. Adventures unfold. A cat moves in lightning, fast speed and creeps along unnoticed. Move with the speed required. Feel the call of the wild, the wind on your face. Enjoy what you see along the way. The destination is not the ultimate goal. It is the journey holding the meaning and the key to your soul's evolution. It is possible to travel without leaving your own backyard. Embrace the unknown and engage in, in adventure, allow the under glimmer, glimmer of the world and magic to become your ticket to the world of possibility. Cats can be curio, uh, curio, circuitous, feel free, curious in other words, feel free to stray out of comfort zones and explore highways and byways that have long been abandoned by others. You discover treasures where others have failed to look. Leave the comfort of your home, yet remember where you have come from, because your past will reach around to meet your future. Everything comes full circle. Awesome. And there you go, I'm talking about full circle. You've got a number nine, so there is an ending. You're going into a richer face. You will gather knowledge. Once you have that spiritual journey, you will grow. And yes, an end of one face, going into a richer face with all that knowledge. Beautiful message here. But it could also be them, that you might be getting a gift or landing a job or a promotion as this is the Nine of Pentacles. You're, you won't, if you are busy and you've been spiritually grown, you won't be so obsessed with your own definition and yourself. Think of others that will make you a rich person. Attitude, desiring balance, desiring balance. Look at all that money and paperwork flying around. Perhaps you have to take this as a rest. That's why you need a holiday, travel. You've got enchantment, magic. You are magic. And this is 15 and that becomes a six. So you will find your balance. So long you are magical and charming, enchantment, 
be magical, be the, the light, the beacon for others, the example to others. Look at all the lights around you and the flies. Be the beacon so or the light so you can draw people towards you. They, they love you. Okay, not for what you have, but for who you are. You might even get an offer of love if you've got the Knight of Cups. That also means news. News is coming to you. You've used your charm. You have uh, enhanced yourself to be beautiful and to be the queen on the throne because it looks like a person, but it also looks like a throne. Come out of your bubble. Come out of your comfort zone. And that's on Wednesday. You will have reached out on Monday or Wednesday. Uh, desiring balance, belonging. Desiring belonging. Cuddling. Yes. You've got the cuddles. Number one. New beginning. New beginning. You can see the feminine sign here. And she's got it. So you might meet a new friend, beautiful, or you might feel special, or there is a special friend that you might be meeting on Friday that you can cuddle, and you can, they're cuddling soft. Could be a feminine or a nurturing type of person, because that's the feminine side of us. You, you will be adored. Show love, like I said. Be the beacon. You, you will get there. Look what's coming to you. Wow. I think Cancer had this, or Leo. They had a lot of pentacles in their reading. Here's the finish and a new beginning. And that could be the new beginning. Could be there. You could be receiving news that your mortgage has gone through, or that you've got the job, or that you've got the promotion. And on Saturday and Sunday, what do we have there? Desiring intimacy. Oh yes, well you've got couples on Friday, so you might be getting really intimate. And could be with a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus. You've got a meeting, yeah! And that is number nine as well. So number nine, there's lots of endings. There's definitely a lot of endings. So be your charming self. Be in magical. Okay, be the beacon. Be the light. Get ready. Stay open to signs and messages. Okay. Now we're, um, we're going to last card of the tarot and you've got the king of cups so you could also be meeting a very loving passionate nurturing man he loves cuddles because he's um, he's emotionally he is balanced emotionally he loves nurturing and taking care this could be a cancer this could be a scorpio or a pisces they're also very spiritual people usually, and um, they listen to their initiatives. They care, they, they also take care of others, not just themselves. They will not only take care, they're not, um, they're not um, obsessed with their looks, okay? Leo is the one that always likes to look beautiful like the king the lion okay now there's one little thing that i'm going to do and i've got charms you can do charms you can read with charms as well i've got all the colors of the uh, chakras and i've got the white bead and that represents the white light that shines through you that's the universe and that is taking the white light goes through the crown. When you uh, start studying Reiki, they talk about the white light, and the white light is the, the divine light that cleanses your chakras. 
Okay, Archangel Metatron. That is also right. And I've got chunks. So let's have a look. I'm not looking. Oh, what's that? Oh, you've got a Kit Kats. You've got the cats. It's very small, but you've got the cats. So it's quite... Um, I don't know whether you can see it, but you've got the cat. It's very small, so you might be getting a cat, and it's got a star on its head. You might, like I said, there might be an extension in the family. So that is the cat. It could be a feline, or be like a feline. Uh, be gentle, but with speed and, and agile. So be flexible. Oh, and you've got the heart on the cobbles. You've got a beautiful heart, intricate heart. So this relationship might be intricate, and this could be with the cat because the cat fell there as well. And the angels will send you a message. Look for feathers. Look for messages from the angels. And I didn't get you your wool, so I, or the bees. So that is the throat chakra. Be careful what you say. It's blue. That's blue. Okay, where this will, well, this will roll off the table. So be careful what you say, how you say it. If you need to call upon an angel, call upon. Archangel Michael, because he's the angel for the throat chakra. Talk about it. If you do have obsessions, talk about it. Look at all that blue there. Talk about it. You catch more flies with sweet words than with vinegar. With, with honey, rather. Right? Yeah. Messages coming together here big time. Talk about your feelings. Be cuddly, be canoodly. Mm, just like this card. Ooh, it's beautiful. I hope you've liked this reading. Give us the thumbs up and please share with family and friends. And if you would like to have an extended reading, then go to the website. It's just a white circle here. Click on that and there you can find the different uh, offers uh, and the different types of readings that I offer. Uh, or you can find the information just down below. And please hit that subscribe button and the bell. Then you'll be notified when I go live. I go live uh, every day um, and I give away free cards. And there's also the possibility of super chat and super stickers. Take care. Be blessed. And I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.